Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. My name is Jenny. Today we have a Louis Vuitton unboxing, but before we begin, I just want to thank my subscribers that have messaged me when this came in stock, my subscribers who were always looking out for me, uh, those of you who kept messaging me and were encouraging me as far as what to purchase next and sharing with me just some of your favorite items and the things that you guys are looking out for. I really, really appreciate it. I am just, oh, I think on my search for this item, if you guys want to skip to the unboxing, I'll have it linked here, but I just want to take this time just to say thank you to all of you because I am so lucky to have all of you guys as part of my audience and I'm so lucky to have you guys here supporting me because without your support, I this channel would be nothing. I could cry because the amount of support and outpour when, I, I know this sounds so stupid, some of you guys are like, oh my god, it's just a bag, but I, I'm just so grateful to have you guys because I've been searching for this for a really long time and I've been wanting it for a really long time. With the way the economy is going, it's really not looking too good, so I am trying to be careful as to where I spend my money and how I do it. So pulling the trigger on this item, it's I could say it's only a thousand dollars, but in the bigger spectrum, the dollar has the value of the dollar has gone up immensely as far as like compared to other currencies. So um, the dollar has gotten a lot stronger, so I do want to just be aware of where I'm spending my money and all of that. So with that said, um, if you guys are not in the stock market, if you guys have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, this doesn't pertain to you, but um, well, like it probably this information is really not valid to you, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm super grateful for you guys and that I'm really thankful that I have your support and that you guys are always messaging me and you guys find comfort in talking to me and trusting my opinion on certain products so it just means so much to me that you guys are here and that i could help you <laughs> that my videos can help you through this time of hardship so i just want to put out there that you know i'm not bragging or anything i'm not doing this unboxing to throw it in anyone's faces i know that there are so many people who lost their jobs and that it's very hard and you know i wish i could support and help everyone but obviously I can't I chose to donate money to a hospital in Cambodia because they were struggling uh, with patients and $500 is not a lot but it just meant something to me that I was able to help them out so I really hope that we can get through this and that the economy can get through it first and foremost because it is very very hard right now and for a lot of people and I do sympathize but I don't want this video to make it seem like I am you know not aware of what's going on in the world so I just want to put that out there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. My item came in this box and um, the thread is, I mean the ribbon is a little loose. So we'll just go ahead and undo it. So, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and open it up. It comes in, this is actually the box that the Alma comes in and also um, cosmetic pouches. Uh, what else have I got this box like this size box is very common so Yeah, I think um, my niece BB actually came in a humongous box, which I don't know why but it was really big This is the textile card. It was just laying around in the box. So I'm not sure why that is But um, it was just there. Oh my cat is sunbathing Okay So this is the item. Oh, okay. So this is the item here. I'm so excited and it is a nano speedy. I know some people are gonna think this is absolutely ridiculous, but I love it and I'm so happy that I have it. Finally. I'm so happy that I have this. I have been on the hunt for this for quite some time. I actually had my friend talk to his essay and I actually asked him a little bit too late because that same day earlier, they actually had this item in stock and they would have been able to send it, but someone else got to it before me. And so I would have had this like maybe a month ago or two months ago even. So that was really rough, but I meant to get this a long time ago and I've been just stuck. Sorry, my hair is like staticky. You guys ever have that? I've been stalking the website. I had no luck until the quarantine happened and everything, everyone and everything was on lockdown. So I guess they opted to put a lot of their rare pieces online. They're kind of like unicorn pieces or as far or iconic pieces i would say um so a lot of those pieces did go online and it was there were so many being sold i had so many of my subscribers send me the purse form like the, uh, the purse form thread and just letting me know you know that this bag was in stock and you guys would message me and i'm sorry that i don't have my notifications on but it was really hard for me to do that because i decided not to because of like 
the bad messages that I was getting. I just wanted them filtered out. But I'm really grateful and I'm so thankful that you guys were letting me know and always just telling me and looking out for me. And I even had a few essays that follow me and you guys were willing to put me on the list and to call me first thing when it came in as soon as you guys went back to work. So I'm really grateful for that, you guys. I'm just, I don't know what I did to deserve that. And I'm just so grateful that you guys... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say like admire me, but that you guys look at me as like a friend and someone that you can talk to about luxury items and you know, just, just like so I can be a friend to you. Like I'm really grateful that you guys look at me as a friend. So I just want to, uh, I just want to put that note out there. My hair is so frizzy. Um, so yeah, I just want to put that note out there. Um, but this piece is so beautiful. It is in perfect condition. I think the light might wash it out a bit. So let me see if I can put this light down so you guys can see yeah Viviketta is super super light and that's what it looks like it is so cute so this item retails for 11.30 in the states we do have tax for LA so it's like so with tax, it's actually twelve thirty eight, I believe. So that's how much I paid. Um, my tax is nine seventy five. I don't believe it's gone up. If it has, I didn't check, but I purchased it for twelve thirty eight, I believe. So that's how much I got it for. I'm so jealous for the states that don't have tax. Like I would take advantage of that shit in a heartbeat. But yeah, and then it does come with a non detachable strap, which I don't know if it's gonna bother me too much. I honestly didn't think about it. Like I was thinking like. Oh, if I get the bag, I'll cut it off. But I actually kind of like the length that it is. So let me try it on for you. I have, I have like my PJs on. This is like a pretty good length for me. So this is how it looks on me. I'm 5'4". It's a pretty good length. Like I like where it hits. This bag has been on my radar for a very long time. I was a little underwhelmed, honestly, because I actually did my unboxing yesterday. I was just like curious as to what it looked like and I had never seen it in store, so I did open it yesterday. So sorry, it's not my first impressions, but I was a little underwhelmed just because I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Like I thought it was a little bit smaller than this. Like this was a little bit bigger than what I expected because I did see the Louis Vuitton HL. I believe that's what it's called. Is it called HL? I don't know. I think it's called HL. It's the other version of this that is actually that actually has the tabs that the Speedy has and it is it doesn't come with the strap. And my my boyfriend's brother's daughter actually has it and hers is like super vintage. It was her mom's. Her mom got it like brand new. And so it's about it's so it's pretty old. So I really liked how that looked. That is a little bit smaller than this. So that's the size that I expected. I didn't think it would be this big. It does kind of bulge out on the body. And so I didn't really like that as much, but the more that I see it and the more that I'm looking at it, I think it's really cute. Um, it does have the brass hardware, which I think is proper for speedies just because it's like a classic item. It's very like, it's been in their line for so long. So I like that they incorporated the brass because I don't think this would have looked good with the shiny gold. I think that would have looked a little bit obnoxious. So I've seen some YouTubers say that they want it with the shiny gold, but it doesn't, it just, it won't look right with this bag being that it's a, it's a classic bag. It has to have the classic brass hardware. So I like that they didn't go for that. I do have this tag. Like this was like what they tied onto the box. And then I have the, the SKU number as well. The item number for this is M61252. And I actually wanted this item when it was like a thousand dollars, I believe. Has it? It's been a thousand dollars at one point, right? I feel like it has. And then I remember it went up to 1100 and then I randomly like when I when people were telling me that it was back in stock I saw it for 1130 and I was like what like what a jump like I didn't I just I'm but mine is made in France and the date code is 0920 so the ninth week of 2020 and it is pretty spacious like i didn't think that it would be that spacious i will film a what's in my bag pretty soon um i was considering like not keeping this bag just because i was like oh i really like the alma and i was like considering getting the alma but then the alma the alma went up by like 130 dollars as well so i was just like oh i'm not really sure but i like this i think it's cute it's very it's very um casual i wouldn't wear this on like a dinner i wouldn't wear this you know trying to sneak it in for date night it's not it's not a date night bag it's a monogram bag and i think monogram is better suited for brunches for lunches for breakfast even but i don't think it's like a cute bag for dinner obviously 
just a casual bag to wear running errands or just going to like a for like a quick um like a quick brunch like i said or for pick up take out whatever i think this is really cute for that so i'm really happy that i do have it please don't be offended i feel like people get offended so easily nowadays uh oh, please don't be offended by anything that i said because i just um, stop just stop okay but yeah that's my bag i hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel down below let me know if you guys want my next video to be a what's in my bag with this baby because i can't wait to show you guys what i would fit in it I have a few items that I think will not fit in it, but I've really downsized a lot. That's why I was considering getting the Alma in this. I think the Alma is super cute, but I don't know that I would ever use it by the handles because it is monogrammed. So uh, maybe this is just like a better choice. I think about 300 or 400 people were able to get their hands on this because it was back in stock and it was in stock for a long time. So I saw the... I saw the mini pochette back in stock, both styles. I saw, um, not both styles, but both like prints, like Dami Ibin and Monogram. I never checked for Dami Azur just because I don't care for that print, but I did see a lot of, a lot of like items that you guys wouldn't normally see in stores. I saw a lot of them back in stock. So just stock the website and, you know, see what you guys are interested in and just keep checking because they're always coming back and even when i purchased this i saw it back in stock like an hour later so just keep checking i'm really happy that i was able to get my hands on this it smells really yummy i love the white um and another thing that i always try to take into account is the amount that it would cost to get the whole vaquetta replaced because you guys know i'm not a huge fan of dark vaquetta so being that it's only the strap and the handles and then the piping i think it would be really inexpensive to get this uh to get the vaquetta replaced i'm really happy with this item i think it's so cute this is like my little quarantine gift to myself so i'm gonna cherish this and just love it and it'll always remind me of when i was quarantined by force <laughs> so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel down below um let me know what videos you guys want to see next because i'm so excited to film for you and this has been a long time coming i know i'm so grateful for you guys like seriously i love you guys that's all that i have for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed i will continue watching crash landing and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye